coming from this way, uh, Ken. Welcome to the Bel Air section of Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And just another day on the job for the embattled National Police. Now you see? Yeah. What I told you? I got him, I got him. Four to five times each day, Haitian police are routinely involved in deadly shootouts like this, with heavily armed political gangs or simply with heavily armed crooks, whose favorite crime is now to kidnap and hold even impoverished victims for ransom. The other day, uh, peanut uh, merchant was kidnapped and uh, the ransom for her was uh, 200 dukes. Which is how That's much? That's a Haitian currency, which how is not a lot. How all. much in dollars? Uh, it's probably uh, uh, slightly less than uh, 20 US dollars. Kidnapping is what this particular shootout is all about. They're trying to rescue kidnapped victims. But the Haitian police are not simply outgunned here. They are undersupplied as well, and after an hour of gunplay, they run out of ammunition for the rest of the day, forced to withdraw with two prisoners back to the nearby police station. What's happened now is a heavily armed political group, pro Aristide uh, gunmen, angry because of the police raid have uh, now threatened to actually attack the main police station here so you can see the chinese swat team there assembled out the front they're using their armored vehicles to help barricade the front here while we wait to see if they're going to deliver on their threat the prime minister of haiti believes this is the cavalry that will rescue his beleaguered police force the black bulletproof SUV up front contains what the Haitian Prime Minister considers to be a precious cargo. Finally, the bulletproof SUV draws into the National Police Headquarters. Who's the driver? That's the, best, that's the best driver in the world. The cargo is none other than Miami Police Chief John Timoney. Chief Timothy is well known uh, on almost the world, I would say, about his experience as a top cop. You have to make a good assessment of the problem and propose solutions. It is what I expect from Chief Timothy. But is Timoney's mission Haiti really mission impossible? That story still to come. In Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Derek Haywood, 7 News. Okay.